What's up guys, my name is Andreas Balan and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to discuss about a very special topic and very important if you want to be an entrepreneur or if you want to rule in the world. And today we are going to talk about leadership. <laughs> So, for this topic I have prepared 5 steps for you that can assure you that you will be a great leader. You must follow all of these steps in the same time in order to be a great leader and in order for the people to follow you. And so, the first thing that you must do is to step forward. You cannot be a leader if you don't step forward, if you are only hiding behind your own shadow. No, you must be out there, you must be seen by people in order to be followed by people. With many people that see you, many people will follow you. You must be an example, you must rule by example. And so, if you want to be an example, you must show your strengths and your weaknesses to people. If you don't do this, you cannot be a leader because nobody will know about you and your existence. Even if we talk about a community, a business, a family, why not? You must be out there showing people that you have the courage and the guts to step forward, have attitude and lead them towards greater, I don't know, goals, days, days or whatever it is. The second thing that you must do, and this is also very important, is that you should make people believe in the same goals and dreams. Because if you lead someone, well, this means that you are a team. And you cannot be a team if you don't have the same goals to go towards too. So, you must make everyone in that team, no matter how big or how small it is, you should make them believe in the same goals and have the same aspirations because otherwise you won't be aligned to the same goals and you won't succeed neither of your individual goals. So it's your responsibility and your job as a leader to make all of them have the same direction. And if you do this, you will increase amazingly your chances to succeed in whatever you want to do. The next on the list is related to language. You should use big words. Usually, leaders, great leaders, use big words when they address themselves to crowds or at least a few, few people, but they use a specific language because you, as a leader, should be different than anybody else. And if you want to be different, you must have a specific language, the leader language. Leader language means using big words. And here I have some examples for you. Big words should be overachieving, success, money, whatever it is related to the goals. You have goals, right? As an organization, as a business, as a group of people, you have big dreams and you should use the words accordingly to your goals. The most important words in the niche of your goals. Let's say, for example, that you are a business. If you are a business, well, you must make profit, you must make money. Use big words like millions. Millions is very important. One million dollar is a very, very, very powerful statement because you know it's a step, it's a big step for a business achieving one million dollars. This is a big word. Use all these kind of words. If you are, let's say, an NGO, use sacrifice because NGOs sacrifice their free time and their resources in order to help someone else. So, what do we say here? Sacrifice. So, the bottom line is use big words. Leaders use big words. Watch everybody on the internet. All the great leaders are using these kind of statements to the people and you cannot make a statement if you don't have a specific powerful language because powerful is what you should be. Now, if we talk about language, there is another very important thing that you should do and this is use scientific language. Now, what does it mean? It doesn't mean that you should know biology or chemistry. No, scientific language is related to people that are listening to you. Basically, when you use scientific language, you use a specific kind of words and sayings that people that are listening to you can easily understand. Uh, let's say, for example, that uh, you want to address to a literature group. Well, if you talk with a literature group, you should use words that are in the same field as their niche of expertise. 
So if you talk about literature, you should use words like poetry, poems, you know, you should say like what we do here is pure poetry because they will understand better using this kind of language and seeing themselves in the way that you are speaking. This is a very good persuasion skill and we will have a specific video especially for persuasion next. But this is very important for you to know if you are a leader or at least if you want to become a great leader. You should use this scientific language. If we talk about entrepreneurship and if you want to rule people in your company, you should use words like management, marketing, business everything that is scientifically related to the niche that you are all activating in. And the last but not least on the list <laughs> is rule by example. Don't ask people to do things that you are not willing to do. You as a leader should be there in the game, you know, you should be on the field doing the things that you are asking people to do. Okay, you don't have the expertise to do everything that people know to do in your business or whatever it is. If you want to be a great leader, you should rule by example. Otherwise, if you don't do this, you can forget everything that I told you so far because if you don't rule by example, people will not follow you. You should be better. Usually you should be better at whatever they are doing so they will follow you. And then with the time, they will become specialized in, their, in what they are doing and you will be specialized in being a leader. But except for that, you should be better and you should be an example for the team. To sum up guys, I told you only a few things, but I think they are enough so far for you to be amazed on the results that you can have if you follow these steps. So, what do we say? We use a specific language, we step forward, we have guts, we rule by example, and we will be great leaders. To be a leader is not simple, but the feeling is amazing and, well, you will be recognized on a social scale to be a great leader and I think this is the most amazing or the most important status that you can have in the world. So, be a great leader. Try to learn more about leadership and if you want to make these kind of videos in the future, Tell me in the comments down below and I'll make sure that we'll have more and more and more information regarding this topic. So this was it guys, thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment and share the, this video to other people if you think it's valuable for you and for them. Until the next time, all the best.